Hello and welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy and in this video we'll be looking at how to remove EFI boot entries from a Linux distribution. So I've already done this video for Windows, uh, but I figured maybe some people out there are running Linux or they just want to, you know, uh, remove some boot entries running Linux, just try it out Linux and they want to remove it afterwards. Whatever the case, I will show you how to do this in this video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your, uh, your console, so your terminal. Uh, I am running Pop! OS over here, so I'm uh, sort of running, uh, sort of going f back and forth between different distros, and right now I'm running Pop! OS, but this is doing, this is using the same package manager as Ubuntu, so if you're u using Ubuntu, you'll be able to follow along. Uh, also, if you were running something else, uh, I'm gonna just have to say which package you have to gonna ha you're gonna have to install. So this is gonna be the EFI boot manager. Uh, so you're going to have to install this yourself, you're going to have to find out how to install it on your package manager. Maybe there's already a package made in your package manager, so in the repository there might be already um, a package pre-made or otherwise you might have to uh, compile it yourself. So of course we first want to install this uh, software, so you want to do sudo apt install uh, efi boot manager and manager is uh, shortened MGR. Just want to enter the password so boot manager is already installed in my case I already installed it it came pre-installed with the with the operating system over here so if it did not came uh, with the operating system if you have to install it afterwards then you now know the command but this is already installed on my uh, particular operating system so I won't have to install it uh, right now but if your operating system does not have it this is the way to install it you can just use the command sudo apt install EFI boot manager or use a different um, use a different uh, command uh, whatever suits your uh, operating system and package manager. So, alright, so EFI boot manager is installed, this is great, so let's go ahead and do sudo EFI boot manager minus V. And this is going to list all of our boot entries and let's uh, do that really quickly over here. So right now we have, so boot order 02, this is the boot order in which uh, the the EFI BIOS uh, has ordered all the operating systems. So we can see over here boot 000 is the Windows boot manager. Then we have boot 0001, uh, which is an old Pop OS installation. I'm going to remove this one over here. And this is a boot entry from a Samsung SSD. Uh, I don't know what this really is, so I'm going to leave it. Uh, the Windows Boot Manager is also over here, and then we have something else, but actually none of these entries, uh, I don't need any of these entries besides the Windows Boot Manager and the Pop! OS over here. So let's uh, go ahead and remove this one over here. Let's start with this one. So let's do uh, EFI Boot Manager minus B and then you want to define the number of the boot entry you want to remove so which which is going to be uh, 0, 0, 0, 0001 and then we're going to do minus B of course we need to sudo that and let's have a look right now again so let's do sudo EFI boot manager minus V and what do you know the boot 000 is there but the boot 0001 has been removed so we're already at boot 0002 so I'm gonna do the same for the other ones as well so I don't need the three I don't need a second Windows boot manager so I already have one so this is probably from an old installation so let's go ahead and remove the 004 as well and let's remove uh, 5 as well and let's remove 6 as well so actually the only ones I need right now are Windows boot manager and pop OS. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and list everything. So right now we have the boot order is 002, so my pop OS is the first one, and the second one to boot is Windows Boot Manager. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and exit, and let's restart the system and see if it's still there. You can see the Windows Boot Manager is there, the pop OS Boot Manager is there, and that is actually all we need so all the other boot entries have been removed except for this UEFI OS but apparently that is something uh, that I cannot remove but anyway when I go to pop OS everything seems to work just fine. So this was just a quick video of me showing you how to remove the boot entries on a Linux system. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!